Okay, question number four. A new security requirement for logging onto a company network has been put in place for all users. So it's a security thing, and all the users will be, uh, you know, we're going to be, they're going to be affected by it. This new security requirement uh, for logging onto a computer network. Okay, so the 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 security is stricter now. Which of the following should a system admin enforce to be the best to to best meet the requirements? Select two. So this work of implementing new security requirements for everybody that logs in to computer or to, to their computers, I guess, essentially to a network uh, has been in place for all users. So in this case, this is applying to everybody that logs into their computer, whether they realize it or not, they're logging into computer a company's network. So that's what they mean. They're just logging into their computers. And because all the computers are connected to the network, they're logging into the network, right? Which of the following should a system administrator, in this case, you, let's say you're the system administrator, you got the full control of what's going on. You're going to implement this in force to best meet the requirements. So what, what are two things here that we have to change as a system admin to make sure that the system requirements are met? Okay, number one, or I should say A. I keep always saying number one. I'm used to seeing one, two, three, four, or whatever for answers, but I guess it's um, letters here. A, strong passwords. Okay, not bad. We got folder redirection, uh, C, we got C, email filtering. We got D, multi-factor authentication. E, we got remote desktop. And then F, we got anti-malware. All right, so we can talk about all these things without necessarily Googling anything. Um, I, I may have to do it on some of them, but I'll, I should be able to just, um, I think it'll be simpler just for me to uh, just kind of talk about it. So A, strong passwords. We know this is a good idea, right? We're going to have to, change the requirement as a system administrator. What we're going to do, we're going to make it so that your password is going to be have to be more complex. That's always a good thing. So that's one of the things we should probably pick. We got folder redirection. What's folder redirection? Folder redirection is every time a user logs into their computer, all of these users, whenever they log into their computer, their desktop, um, usually, just for example, to keep it simple, your desktop, um, receives certain amount of data or certain files automatically automatically to their desktop. So that's what that's what's called folder redirection. Uh, they will basically get specific folder pushed to them every time they log into their computer. Okay, that's what folder redirection is in a nutshell. And then we got email filtering. Um, what this does, uh, it emails, it filters emails. So it's like a spam filter. Man, you know how you have spam in your email? That's what this is. So we can implement spam filtering. That's not that's not bad either, you know. Uh, but we're talking about logging into the computer co company's network or their computers, right? And then we got multi-factor authentication. Aha! We know what multi-factor authentication is. You surely probably registered for an account somewhere and that's like a bank account for example or anything that requires for example your phone to for example be a secondary um, authenticator so let's say you have a password you log in your bank account you type in your password right your your login id and your password and the bank is like well we got to make sure that you are you so we're going to make you uh, type in our, our code that we send to your phone to your phone. That's a multi-factor authentication, right? There are more, more than one factors uh, in order to actually log into something, not just password. And that's just an example. It could be an email. Um, it could be a some kind of token, uh, meaning as in uh, what they use in VPN. It's a randomly generated code that you have to type in. Uh, anyways, that's what multi-factor authentication is. Just multiple ways. Uh, you have to Type in multiple things in order to log into something. Um, in this case, comp company network or their computers, and that's definitely a good thing. And we got remote desktop. Remote desktop is simply a way to access a remote desktop, a remote computer. This is irrelevant to this. Technically speaking, you can set up a some kind of weird security thing. 
where they want you to use a remote desktop, um, especially if it's like a dummy terminal, meaning it's just a basic computer that you'll log in and to actually access anything on the company's network, you have to initiate remote desktop to get to it. Chances are they're not talking about this here. They're talking about specifically logging to company network. It, it, again, it technically you can set up something like this where your main computer is actually a remote desktop, but chances are that's not going to be a setup like this in, in majority of businesses. And then we got anti-malware. We know this, what this is, anti-malware. You know, like SpyBot or... Um, you know, like what's what's some popular, like McAfee, ImmuNet, uh, whatever, your Windows antivirus, anti-malware, whatever. You guys know what that is, right? So what's the most likely two things that you could uh, you should do as a system administrator to um, justify or not justify, to basically implement new security requirements for logging into computer network? And uh, yeah, so we're going to pick strong passwords and we're going to type in Multi, we're going to type in, we're going to use multi-factor authentication because we're strictly talking about logging here, logging in on to company network. And those are two things that are most related to this. Okay.